Uh, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're enjoying the meal so far. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, about one of the special features of this evening. And that is the Harry Boland Hall of Fame, the St. Patrick's Athletic Harry Boland Hall of Fame. Now, anybody associated with St. Pat's down the years will, will be familiar with the legend that is Harry Boland. And he was involved with the club for 50 years, from 1950 until his untimely death in 2000. He was a groundsman, he was a kid man. Um, he, he signed on as a player in 1950 and member of course of the first league winning team. And he lived at 125 Emmett Road. So as he used to say himself, the, the famous pitch there was his back garden. And uh, he really encapsulated everything that is good about St. Patrick's Athletic and indeed about the League of Ireland football. Uh, special thanks to Paul O'Malley and Alan MacDonald for organising the uh, Hall of Fame, the Harry Boland Hall of Fame, sponsored by Paddy Power. Uh, there was a few experts got together, uh, the fans had their vote as well, uh, and this year we will be inducting the first 10 uh, players into the Harry Boland Hall of Fame. Harry is the ultimate St. Pat's legends, but I think you'll be introduced this evening to a few more of them as well. Can I introduce you to the first two inductees, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Paul McGrath and Dave Henderson. <laughs> Let me tell you first of all about Dave. He was one of Brian Kerr's first signings in the summer of 1987. He came to Pats from Drogheda, having previously played with Shamrock Rovers, Toronto Blizzard and Vancouver Whitecaps. And he'd been a member of the Irish Olympic squad that previous year, and also an Irish under-21 international. Uh, Dave had played for the Saints from the summer of 82 until the end of 83-84 when Charlie Walker was the manager and during his latter time with St. Pat's, Dave established himself as the leading goalkeeper in the country and he was rewarded with a league championship medal in 1990. His unassuming demeanour disguised an outstanding talent which was a major contributory factor in the renaissance of St. Pat's in the early 1990s. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Henderson. I'll talk to Dave in a moment, but uh, let us also uh, introduce you to the great Paul McGrath. Signed for Pats, of course, from Dock United. That was in the summer of 1981. Uh, originally, would you believe, as a centre forward, but of course this man could do everything. Uh, his skills as a centre half, though, quickly became apparent, and it was as a defender that he went on to become famous at international level. His versatility was shown by his appearance at midfield on many occasions for the Republic of Ireland, of course. He was transferred to Manchester United at the end of the 1981-82 season and went on to have a marvellous career. He received the Editor's Golden Boot Award in 1981 while playing for the Saints. Uh, he's always remembered and uh, regarded as one of the legends of St. Pat's. So we've got Harry Boland, Dave Henderson, and we welcome please Paul McGrath. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask Paul first about Dave, because, uh, you know, they say that the uh, goalkeepers are different. How different was he? He's very strange, actually. I have to say that, have to say that first and foremost. No, uh, to be honest, we became great friends when, when we first met at uh, St. Pat's. Uh, to the extent that Dave actually got me a job with his father, Paddy, and uh, we, we built fences together. And uh, we just became great friends, and uh, it, was, it was a pleasure to, to play in front of him. Dave, what about Paul McGrath in front of you? When my first game at Burke, Pats was Paul's first game at centre half. The manager who was supposed to discover him said, You have to play in centre forward, you have to play in midfield, and now you tell me you're a centre half, and if you don't play well, you're going. What were his attributes? Brilliant player, simple, that's it. Great defender, great fella. That's very true. Listen, uh, St. Pats, uh, a homely club. Um, Great success though down through the years and, and you've been a part of that. Yeah, well it's great to see everybody here tonight again and that's what's there. It's just seeing all the friendly faces. People like Phil said earlier on they kept the club going. So that was the beauty of it. It's a part of my life forever. So thanks very much. Well done Dave. And probably before I let you go finally. Um, St. Pat's always occupies a, a, a special place in your life as well, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it always will. I mean um, to be honest I didn't really want to leave Dorky but um, Charlie Walker kind of persuaded me 
well, there wasn't much money changed hands, I have to say, but, um, but he persuaded me to come to a club like St. Pat's, and, you know, it, it was the best move I ever made, I thought, so, because everyone just accepted you and uh, treated you dead well, and, and um, you know, I, obviously I went off to Manchester United then, and so, so I'm just thankful to all these people here tonight that, uh, you know, they, they brought me into the fold. There's a vacancy in the manager's office at the moment. You wouldn't fancy, would you? <laughs> um, the, I was just speaking to someone earlier about that. The tra I think the training regime would be a bit different. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so I don't think maybe I should be in the Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Henderson, Paul McGrath.